Good afternoon, I'm uh, Bruce Penton, Assistant Managing Editor of the News, and this is Peggy Rebell, one of our reporters, and we're here to talk about the wrap-up of the election. Peggy, what did you think of the last week of the campaign? Uh, well, I think it was just really interesting to see the Wild Rose uh, pull away in, in many respects. At the beginning of the whole election, it was pretty much thought that the PCs had it down pat, and just to see Wild Rose come out ahead at the very end, it's, it was such a flip, I think, for Alberta. But I think, you know, the last week, I think maybe it got a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. A couple of uh, mistakes, I think, on behalf of the, uh, the Wild Rose. Uh, uh, Ron Leach, with his remarkable Caucasians and being able to, uh, to uh, get votes that way. And then uh, Al Hunsberger with his, with his remark that didn't go over too well about uh, gays burning in hell. I mean, uh, things like that, a lot of the moderate Albertans might, might take a second look at the, at the Wild Rose and maybe, uh, who knows, I think it's probably going to help uh, Alison Redford, but I still think that the uh, Wild Rose look like they're in control of this election. I, I, I think so. I think there aren't enough moderate, moderate people who would be willing to swing a certain way to make anything happen different, uh, have a difference that way. How about locally? What did you think uh, of the, uh, the local debates? <laughs> yeah, but you read about them in the Medicine Hat News. Yes, yes. The fact that only two people showed up last night at yeah. the Cypress Medicine Hat uh, uh, race were the two front runners, Len mm -hmm. Mitzel and Drew Barnes. What's your take on that? Um, I think, uh, obviously, John Mastella with the Liberals has a hard time because he it is his job to be with the Liberal leader, and uh, so obviously it is hard to run from afar. And uh, I think, you know, give him a few more years, give him a decade or two, and if he comes back and settles down in Medicine Hat, I think, I think that actually would make for a solid, you know, future politician in this area. Um, but you know, if politicians want to make an effort, they have to come out. So, what's your pick? Pick my personal pick. What do you think is going to happen Monday? I think Wild Rose are going to eke one by. Both in uh, in yes. Medicine yeah. Hat and Cypress Medicine Hat. I think so. I think the. The, the runoff between Darren Hirsch and Blake Pearson will be close, but I think I think Glenn Mitzel may be uh, getting out his retirement golf clubs. Well, we'll see what happens on Monday, and uh, don't forget to watch the news, Metastand News, on our website, www.metastandnews.com, for all the election night results, and check out our paper on Tuesday for the complete story. Uh, we hope you've had a good time, and you hope you enjoyed these little commentaries. <laughs>